You're very proud that there is a transparency on Ashley Madison. You say that people on other sites lie about their single status. Do you know why it is that single women would go to a site where they know that they are going to be hooking up potentially with married men or attached men, maybe single men, because there is that, that possibility, that option as well. But why do you think that a single woman would want to hook herself up with an attached man? We faced a conundrum when we created this service, right? Was it only going to be for those people who were attached in relationships? And so the research showed us that we would be missing uh, a, a part of the uh, a fair marketplace if we didn't allow people to pursue a relationship of aspiration, you know, something that could be with the world world knows the word mistress. There's so much of what we're talking about is the narratives in society. You should be married, you should be heterosexual, you should you know, live faithfully, all these things. There's this narrative out there that there's a sense of sisterhood, that a woman would somehow never be interested in a man already spoken for in that regard. And in fact, the research is the exact opposite. There's many social psychologists who have done things like, you know, take a picture of a man and, and, and talk about his likability based on uh, a fictional background for him and they get women to rate him and, and he's single, he's 42, he's, uh, you know, never been in a relationship. And then all of a sudden they take those same images, those same profiles and show them to a new group of women and say, oh, this man's married and, and his rankings go up. And uh -huh. so it's almost like that if a woman is with a man, he's been certified. What I find most fa fascinating is that not only has female infidelity changed in the last 50 years, you know, with female uh, economic equality getting you know greater and greater traction and more access in the workplace but the internet has been this leveling of the playing field and what we're seeing now at least on our service from when we started in 2002 is more and more married women looking for relationships with single men that has become about 12 to 15 percent of the communication that happens on the service where that was about one to two percent just a decade ago and so I think the male mistress the rise of the male mistress is a brand new phenomenon being driven by, you know, female demand. Do you think that you're appealing to the romantic, that women come onto the site with the hope that they are going to win the man after all? I remember reading this interesting uh, piece of census data that just came up in the U.S. I wonder what it's like in South Africa, but, you know, 41% of children going to be born uh, uh, to women in, in 2013 will be born to single women. This isn't Absolutely. some sort of teen teenage pregnancy phenomenon. These are women choosing the child, but not the partner. And so I think we believe that every little girl wants to grow up and look like a, a Barbie doll and have a Ken and live in a white picket fence house. I do not think that's the case anymore. They want to be independent. They want careers. They want to travel the world. Yes, they're interested in relationships, but varying the kinds of relationships. The picture that you, you're actually painting is of a, a modern lifestyle where we do not prioritize our relationships like we used to many years ago, where that was like really the central feature of your life and that's what you had to dedicate yourself to, especially women. What you're saying is that it needs to fit in as a facet into our busy lives. And with right. the internet, our lives have got way busier. And now relationships do not take center stage anymore. That actually other aspects like raising children, earning money, independence, and self-fulfillment, because self-happiness is a very important feature which has been focused on in our lives. So much to see, so much to do, exercise to do, healthy lifestyle, and oh yes, a relationship as well. And maybe that's why your site is as busy as it is because people are just squeezing it in, either for a chat or because I'm really just happy to have a quick shag or a one night or a hookup without the intention of it.